the power of mind mapping. What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to go over the subject, the concept of mind mapping, what it actually is, how you can use it, how beneficial it is. And then finally, I'm going to review a mind mapping software that I've been using called Scapel. So if you like me, um, just a few months ago, I had no idea what mind mapping is. And it sounds like a pretty complicated idea, a fancy word, but really the idea behind it is very simple. And it's something that you've seen a million different times. So mind mapping is simply when you have a core concept that you write on a sheet of paper, you draw a circle around it, you draw out other lines to other circles branching out of that, that connect similar ideas and thoughts using keywords until you have an entire, basically a brain tree um, going out. And people use mind mapping to write books, to design presentations, to organize complex ideas and thought patterns to learn better, a lot of students use it. So there's a lot of different uh, capabilities of mind mapping. And the reason why mind mapping is so powerful and unique is that it, st it simulates basically how your brain works. And so what I mean by that is mind mapping is non-linear and oftentimes the way that we think about certain ideas is non-linear. So even me in designing this presentation on mind mapping, the way that my mind views mind mapping and thinks about it is exploding and expanding all over the place in all different directions. It's not one continuous line, yet how I'm speaking this video is that I designed a presentation that will go in a certain direction to take the viewer in a certain direction so they can understand mind mapping better. So the reason why mind mapping is effective is that you can basically get a visual representation of what your mind actually thinks about a subject, see it all out on paper, and then design a linear way to go about that. And so like I said a few months ago, I had no idea what mind mapping was, but I got a strong download that came into my mind that said, Cal, you have to write a book. And you have to write a book on this specific subject that's never been written about before. Otherwise, I wouldn't really entertain the idea of writing a book. And so I trust myself, and so I said, okay, I have no idea how to do that, but I feel like I should do it. So I started researching, and I read a couple books on how to write a book. And consistently, I kept on coming across this idea of mind mapping. And so then I picked up a book on mind mapping, which you don't have to do, and I skimmed through it, and I saw how simple it was, and I decided to take it into action. So I took my book concept, and I created an entire brain tree, an entire mind map, covering the a whole expansive aspect of the book before I had even started writing. And then when I started writing, I was doing just, I did 25 minutes a day for one month, only 25 minutes of writing per day. And what I would do is I would take each smaller concept that would be like a page or a section or a chapter, and I would then blow it up into its own separate mind map, and then I would use that to write from. And when I was writing, I experienced absolutely no writer's block. And the reason why was because I had the mind map already organized. And there's a phrase or a saying that for every one or every 10 minutes that you spend in planning, you can save an hour in execution. Maybe it's every one minute spent in planning, you can save 10 minutes in execution. There's some kind of saying like that, and it's very true for writing, it's very true for everything. If you take the time to plan to mind map, it can save you insane amounts of time. And when you think about the idea of writer's block, Oftentimes I think it's people thinking that they don't really know what they're doing or they don't know where they're coming from or they don't have enough ideas, but I think it's actually the opposite. I think that it's that you have too many ideas. You have so much in your brain. Your brain is so expansive, so beautiful, so powerful, and you don't know how to get it into this linear fashion that a book takes where you're just going in a straight line. So what mind mapping does is it helps you get that expansive, explosive energy to get it down into a visual form so that you can then see the clear pattern and you can write from that. So in those 25 minute periods for one month, I wrote 21,000 words just that flowed out of me without really having to think about it because I had done that prior work. Another really cool aspect of mind mapping that I just wanna to touch on really quick is the idea of keywords. So it might sound kind of complicated, but what's really cool about mind mapping is that you can simply have keywords. So example, for example, if I was doing a, a mind map on this mind mapping video, and I wanted to have a separate section that just jotted out that just said keywords, I would know exactly what that meant. Even me just writing the word keyword, it's in fact a keyword that sparks all these different ideas from that. So you can have one to two lines, you can have a word or two that will then spark all these other ideas from that. So you can mind map actually very quickly, and you can get 
a lot of work done in a very short amount of time simply through mind mapping. So guys, I hope you got the gist. Basically, you can use mind mapping for a variety of different things. I've already used it for not only my book, but I've used it to write an advertisement for a room in our house. I've used it for a lot of different factors because it can get your ideas in a very uh, simple way to understand them. Now, finally, I'm gonna go over this review of Scapple. So Scapple is a mind mapping software, and I know what you're thinking. You might be saying, Callum, why would you need a software to do something so simple as mind mapping? And it's a good question. And the answer is that you can do this on a sheet of paper, you can do this on a whiteboard, but I don't want a, a big whiteboard in my room. And even if I did have a big whiteboard, it could not encapsulate all the, like the entire mind map that I have in my book was enormous. So the main reason is space. Like you're gonna run out of space on a sheet of paper, on a whiteboard, you're gonna have to be editing, moving things around. And it's so much better if you have that on a computer program because it can be expansive. You can have infinite room, infinite documents, infinite space to do mind mapping. You can zoom in and out. You can use hotkeys to expand and just blow the mind map out very quickly. You can still mind map if you like doing the kinesthetic aspect of writing. You can still do that on a sheet of paper. You can still do it on the whiteboard, but just make sure that you transfer it to a computer document where you can blow it up even bigger. Now, there's there are certain free programs out there and I looked into them and they give you a certain amount of documents or a certain amount of space and I didn't really want to have to deal with any constraints, so I ended up buying Scapple. And I am not sponsored by Scapple, this is not an affiliate link or anything like that, but I really liked it because it's $15 and it is very simple. There's no frills, it's very easy. You download it onto your computer, you can create as many mind maps as you want. There's nothing fancy about it. And I also know what you're thinking, why do I have to pay money for this? And I think that it's something that I want to address because I think in our current society, there's a kind of this entitlement mentality built around the internet because the internet is free. So a lot of times we think, why would I ever pay for software? Why would I ever pay for access to anything that comes from the internet? And I think this is kind of a flawed mindset to have because I think that you have to think about your time and think about what you're getting and think about how convenient it is or how much time it's saving you or what, what you're basically benefiting from and then what you're giving. So in this case, you're getting an incredible program that can help you mind map and change the way that you work and you're paying $15. And to me, that was like a no-brainer decision. You can even do it, they have like a free 30-day trial, so you can download it, use it for free for 30 days and decide if you like it. But if you think that you would ever use this, I highly recommend trying mind mapping it out. And it doesn't even have to be around a certain creative project. People literally, when I read the book, most of it was actually for students. So students actually using this to learn. Um, there's just a lot of different aspects of it, so I'll shut myself down right now. I hope that this video was powerful for you and it would be awesome if you guys commented below with if you've used mind mapping before, what you think about this. If you've used Scalpel, what you think about that. And if you're new to the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button. Once every two weeks or so, I'm producing a video on a subject that I think is powerful, that I think is impactful in subjects such as spirituality, productivity, time management, minimalism, meditation. So if you like those subjects, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.